Alright, so the Westlands are stationary for the time being. Okay, now they're moving. Now they're moving. Now it's fine. They stopped and then started again. I have no idea what they thought they were going to do. Hopefully the Reach will manage to get themselves out of there in time. Hopefully. Uh, to reach the Westerlands will manage to get themselves out of there in time. See, that army's starving over there. That might not be a bad way to go around it, because the Westerlands can't support that many troops. So if we get the Reachmen to sort of meet up in the West... Oh, why have you stopped again? Oh, because they're heading for a different territory? Is that right? I don't think that is right. Um, what's going on here? Have they just made a terrible, terrible decision? Well, hopefully they're not going to get caught out on this one, but I have a feeling that they absolutely are. The good news is that they should lose a fair few through attrition, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, sure enough, they're marching on, on Pink Maiden. That's right. And the Westerlands are just going to allow that to happen. Oh, they're so dumb. Why? Somehow the Ironborn have managed to get themselves in an even worse predicament than they were already in. There's a huge army of both the North and the Reach looking to sweep in and take those guys out. This is not looking good for the Westerlands. On the plus side, we have 18,000 men here now. That's quite a fair few. We might as well take that castle seeing as we've gotten that far. There's the other 18,000. And there's a, you know, just a handful more troops, really. Maybe we can get them up to the Westerlands in time. Well, we definitely can't, but might be worth a try just to get them there anyway. And sure enough they've been engaged there in Pink Maiden, um, outnumbered by about 4,000 men. And they do have the territory, well, yeah they have an advantage in terms of the territory, but if the other Reach Army backs them up and I don't see why they wouldn't, then they're going to be completely outmatched. There's, uh, there's not a lot of hope there. Now, I figured the best thing to do is have this larger force uh, start invading the Reach, and then have the other one meet up with it there, rather than just have them standing by doing nothing. Well, it's not going dreadfully against the Westerlands, and in fact they have got a very large army heading to reinforce them that would more or less tip the balance in their favour. New High Septon. Pretty much irrelevant at this point. They're, they're pretty evenly matched, to be honest. Losses are about even. Uh, morale, there isn't too much difference either. So yeah, the Ironborn have been pretty much wiped out, but... Uh, I'm not even shedding any tears about that, to be honest. God, it's so close between the Reach and the Westerlands there. I think it's actually getting closer. Yeah, I think they were much more outnumbered when they started. And now, if anything, they're winning. I don't know what's just... I swear there was a big army from the Westerlands. Oh, there, is, oh, there still is. It's just invisible. Okay, yeah, that, that had me worried for quite a while. But look at that! It looks as though they've... Uh... One? Lost? I don't... Oh no, they've just, just lost. That was so close, though. Yeah, the Reach suffered uh, greater losses than the Westerlands did, so... Hats off to the Westerlands. You held that pretty well. I really should have sent my army to reinforce them, but I was worried about the other Reach army coming for them, and indeed there's uh, there's 30,000 men just north. So we'll make that a bit more of a 
a force to be reckoned with, and that'll be about 5,000 men we'll have, and uh, hopefully that can lend something of a hand. Oh god, the troops from in the north are here, and they've got, uh, well, let's see, there's, there's about uh, 70, 80,000 men in play now. Yeah, about 70-odd. But hey, we've captured Bywater at long last. And that has done nothing for our war score. Starting to think that it might be a waste of time. But we'll see. The other provinces should be fairly quick to capture after that one. Uh, there doesn't look to be any more troops up north. That's reassuring, at least. Hopefully I won't have... well, I shouldn't have to deal with anything up there, because... Um, well, it would be dumb of me to march up the neck anyway, but I just need to, you know, capture territory in the Riverlands, and that should be enough. Oh, somebody's... somebody's mentioned the fact that I'm off to kill Medic. Thanks a lot, Master Frederick of Three Flowers. You are pretty much the worst. Really didn't need that going against me right now. Is there anyone interested at all or possible to persuade? 75% plot power isn't bad, but 100% is generally required. Oh, hello. Ariella Meadows. God, the House Meadows is a is a very interesting family in this. That'd bring me up to 87% if she joined, but uh, still not many who I can even swing over to my side of the argument, as far as I can see. God, it would be just fantastic if we could take the reach out of this altogether, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that simple. Might as well capture their capital then. I'm thinking Grassy Vale might be worth more war score than the territory that I captured that doesn't seem to have given me anything. Um, if not, then it's about the right place I need to be to start marching north anyway. Ooh, now! 28,000 Westerlands troops bearing down on those 10,000 from the Reach. That could be a significant victory. They would still be outnumbered when it came to facing the rest of the Reach's troops, and indeed, it looks as though the reinforcements might arrive before the battle even starts. Um, okay. This is again just hanging on a knife edge between the Westerlands and the Reach. This is, uh, this is a pretty close thing. Oh good, she's backing my plot. Um, oh god, yeah. No, it's looking like the Westerlands are pretty screwed here because they've got the territory disadvantage much as they're routing the smaller force there. It's it's going to come too late still because in a few days... Oh no, they've won their victory, which means that they get the territory advantage should the reach continue into that province, which is brilliant. I'm not sure whether or not they'll get reinforced by that number of troops there, but we need to get troops to Pink Maiden as soon as we can. Uh, in fact... Uh, yeah, if I put them on the ship, then they should be able to get around fast. Okay, they've been engaged in Pink Maiden again, the Westerlands troops. Now, they did start with lower morale, but they have closer numbers than they did last time, and at this time, the Westerlands have the um, territory advantage as well. So, I'm, uh, we've captured that province, and it's not given us anything, which seems a little disappointing, but it seems like now might be the time to get our troops in play in a, in a fairly major way, given how close it is. Of course, on the flip side, uh, the more we can leave to other armies, the better. We're not technically gaining anything from this, we're just weakening our opponents, so minimizing losses is also something that we want to keep in mind. Um, now... Oh, suddenly the uh, guys from the previous battle in the in Pink Maiden are looking to reinforce the Reach 
Um, this could swing against the Westerlands quite dramatically, but look at that, they've evened up the numbers, if only for a very short period of time. And Oh, hello, the enemy's routing. Oh my goodness. Oh dear goodness, that's that's quite a colossal victory, I think. Yes, look at that, we're now in the green. Oh my goodness. That's that's a big victory right there. 15,000 troops lost. Good, good. Now, the, whole, the entirety of the Reach still outnumbers the entirety of the Westerlands, but we have 5,000 troops that can swing that in our favour. Unfortunately, the Northmen, having dealt with the Ironborn, are also marching south. 